Well, I think there are two things I think Julia's captured. She's writing about an issue and more than an issue, sort of um, a feeling and a concern, I think, that is, you know, invades all of our lives now about safety and safety in public places and, and trying to understand individuals in the community who choose to act out in very violent ways. I think that's all become a real visceral part of our lives in the last four or five years. Um, and a way that I think theater is something that brings people together into a community, you know, is really poised to try and deal with in a room. She has a poet's grasp of how to use language. Her language is by and large, I would say, naturalistic, realistic, but if you listen to it carefully, you can see that she really understands the way language works as music and as a conveyor of ideas. Good playwrights tend to write their plays from inside. They get inside the world of the play and write from the inside. And one of the things that I can offer in that instance is, is an external point of view on, on the world of the play, uh, a, a slightly more objective point of view, which is not to say that a playwright doesn't know what he or she is doing. That's certainly not true of Julia. She always knows what she's doing, but she's also a very intuitive writer. And sometimes she can write things and not know exactly why she's written them. So it becomes part of my job to try to come to an understanding of why it is that way, why it should be that way, or if I finally come to the conclusion of, you know, I'm not sure there is a good answer to why it's that way, then I can probe it and, uh, and, and help her either clarify her own intentions or rethink something that she has chosen to do in the play.